Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to play the map Grounded in Infinite Warfare. So first of all, you will want to use the Warfighter Specialist with either the Claw or Combat Focus. It's up to you, it's your choice. But most importantly, you want to use Ping because Ping on this map is vital and it is very effective. On this map there is a cave system and there are lots of corners and cracks where the enemies can hide in. So of course the ping will be very useful in helping spotting those campers. Now you may be asking well what if my enemies are wearing ghosts? Well it doesn't matter. Not every single one of your enemies will be wearing ghosts. If there is one enemy not wearing ghosts then you can get an idea of where they are spawning. So you have to be aware of also the death skulls and generally where your teammates are on the minimap. So you can see I also limit my time in the cave system and I push out here I always look to the right because it's a main spawning area back there and I go back here but look I'm checking first over this big opening here there's always they always love to push down there and I like to flank around on this wall run and hit them from the sides because most of, most of the times they won't push that side and look now, I'm going up on here. This is the power position right here because you can control the spawns when they spawn on the left hand area and you can set up a mini spawn trap and you'll see me doing it from time to time. Now watch this scenario. I'm pushing here, I'm making sure it's cleared but I turn around and I look at this area again and look, the enemies love pushing there. I told you guys that it will happen a lot. So be very mindful of that area and they love to push through here as well. So always look, when you're on this side of the map, look on the right side. Because most of the time, if your team is on the left side of the map, the enemies will 100% definitely be on the right side of the map. Most of them anyway. And this area that I'm pushing to, they love to go up and hair glitch right here and peek across to the other side. So you can easily flank them and they love to push. So when they're pushing you like that, just go prone and take them out. You see where I'm pre-aiming there? Just go prone if they're pushing you and take them out like Most of the times you will have advantage because you're on an elevation and they have to pass through that choke point and that was a mini power position so you want to keep that cleared and you want to trap them when they are there as well and now i'm flanking around look at this now pre-aiming the doorways and they love to push through the left one more than this side so that's why i'm pushing on this side and i can catch them off guard now i'm seeing that that's called look they pass me straight away they don't know i'm there so just do what i'm doing and you will get good results you want to catch them by surprise on this map especially and look how i'm navigating this side i'm going on the wall run and i hit, hit them from the sides like i've mentioned before you're seeing it working in action right now it's their nature they avoid the wall run but when you take it you can hit them from the sides back in the power position you know i took him out and look kill them straight off the spawn i know they're going to spawn back there look at the advanced uav as well it's just easy pickings right now now they're flowing through the cave system because they are spawning over there and of course they're spawning from that left hand side when you look at it from this direction it's to the left but if you look at it from the opposite direction it's to the right so of course they love to push through that area and you have to be careful of that fact now i'm going straight back onto the power position look at how i keep it clear and i keep it safe it's away from the enemy team and now i can push through here here is a mini power position as well you can take a few of them out from here but don't stay here too long in this lab because they love to spawn back here it's a major spawn area and you will get shot in the back or you will get sniped from the other side of the map and notice how i'm trapping them either in the cave or off their spawn single-handedly i'm not i don't have a full six-man party spawn trapping i'm doing it by myself and they really can't do anything so you can get really good results if you keep them in your trap now i'm back into the mini power position Look, they love to flow through there as well, so I just go prone and I take them out just like that. They never expect it when you lay prone there and you shoot them while they're pushing. But of course, you never camp it. Do not camp it. You will die and you will not become better in general. Now, look at this Murphy's Law at its finest. They have a counter UAV up while I have my advanced UAV up. So I push across onto the edge of the map around this area, pre-aiming. So when that happens to you, just pre-aim it and use the head glitches that I am using right now. They won't really have a chance, but don't be too aggressive as well. Take your time, be disciplined about it. And I turn around just in time to kill this enemy here. 
Now I am pushing away because I know they love to spawn them close together. So I'm just checking for the death skull. I notice that immediately. I just check it and make sure it is cleared. And I'm pushing back here now. Notice that where I'm navigating on the map. And look, I'm going to check on the left hand side now. Because look at where my teammates are. My teammates are behind me. And did you notice how my ping activated and picked up an enemy? So I'm just ensuring nobody's behind me or flanking around. Now I'm going to check where that ping came from. And lo and behold, the enemy popped up and he got wrecked. I got my deatomizer strike. And you can see how effective the combat focus or claw. But most importantly, the ping is on this map. The warfighter specialist is tailor made for this map. But you can use the FTL rig as well or synaptic. But I do prefer the warfighter ping and you saw it yourself. The atomizer strike. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you did. Please share the videos if you want to see me grow. That's so important. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.